creativity lifestyle hello this is another episode of the appraisal i'm chichi i know it's been a while uh on the show um uh, but i'm back uh with another uh, interesting episode and interesting topic you know uh educative as well and this uh episode we are going to be talking about uh Shetima's style sense, uh, let me call it that. Yeah, Shetima was spotted at the recently concluded Nigerian Bar Association conference held at Eco Hotel and Suites, which also had in attendance um, the presidential aspirant P2B um, uh, for that's for Labour Party, the presidential aspirant for PDP uh, Atiku, and the Shetima being vice presidential aspirant for APC. Uh, represented uh, Tinobo and uh, at the event um, he was spotted wearing suit and uh, a tie sorry a suit and uh, sneakers yes and people seem to have a problem with that uh, uh, well this suit and sneakers trend didn't start today and it will end today it didn't start from Shetima and it will end with Shetima okay it has been a trend it's been around okay we cannot uh okay yes we know we, most of us we may have problem with apc but that doesn't mean that when we see something you know that we have to like uh rule out everything uh, that comes from them the fact that he wore a suit and sneakers to the event is not is not bad okay yeah we've not the thing is that we've not known him to be that person okay and we all know that if the APC uh, political party is trying to create an image, you know, this youthful image they want to give their uh, aspirants and um, they want to tell us that, oh, these people are young at heart, you know, they are not that old, like you are trying to paint them, <laughs> which, um, yeah, it may be, is a good thing, but they are just doing it wrongly. It's a good idea, but they are executing it wrongly. There is nothing wrong with dressing an elderly person to look younger than he is. There are ways to do that. You don't do it in a way that you end up making a mockery of the person or do it in a very uh, shabby way. Uh, first off, his suit was uh, kind of oversized. Not too oversized because an elderly person, you know, you don't expect an elderly person to wear a suit that is too form-fitted like that. You ha there has to be some allowance. Yeah, the allowance was a little bit, you know, too much. And um, the fact that he also buttoned the, the last but the, the third button, you know, it, for suits, you don't button the last button. That's, that's a fashion rule. Okay, yes, fashion rules are meant to be broken, but at least this one is still, <laughs> this, one, this one still holds. Yeah, and it holds because there, there is reason for it, okay? You don't button the the third button for you. You end up it it will look nice, okay. And the funny thing is that even when he sat down, he didn't unbutton it. He still left it, and he was looking so uncomfortable. In fashion, you don't button that last button, okay? Yeah. Um. Aside that, yes, I said his suit was a little bit uh, oversized. The thing about APC packaging of their candidates to look uh, younger. Is, is is the fact that they do it to be too obvious and they make it uh it's just it's shabby they execute it shabbily okay uh, the last time they packaged to the boot to look younger when he arrived at the airport that was even better off okay this the shatima one uh, wasn't uh, too good i love the sneakers by the way the sneakers was the sneakers was good you know Paired with us with a, with a suit, not with us. So if this suit was form fitted, if someone like Tenoli Melu dresses uh, like that to an event like a NBA conference, I bet you you won't have much problem with that, okay? Because that image has been created uh, for him. You know, he's known as that stylish uh, business executive, and also um, there are some trends in fashion that initially we are frowned upon, and right now they are looking very fashionable like the color sock which tenen is also known for he wears these red socks uh, with red tie you know the fashion rule is that your socks should match your trousers 
But these days, you know, people match their socks with their ties, their socks with pocket square, uh, their socks with their belts and all that. So fashion rule is meant to be broken as long as it looks nice, okay? So that's it. Um, if someone, like I said, if someone likes the many dresses that way to MBA conference, he won't have any problem with that because he's known for that. He's known to be stylish, okay? Um, for Shetima, <laughs> yes, the problem is that he's coming from somewhere that people do not uh, resonate with. The thing about creating image for people is not just dressing someone, it's, it's, it's holistic, okay? You have to also take care of other aspects. It's not just about packaging the person, you know, making the person look good and all that. Yes, making the person look good when I bought just to make it uh, worthwhile. Fessor Skiemo, who was also at the event, uh, was spotted in the similar dressing. Uh, that's a suit and sneakers. His was okay, except that he also buttoned the, the third button. Okay, yeah, like I said, if you have three buttons uh, on your suit, you don't button the last one. The first one, yes, you button it, or you also button the second one, but the last one you don't. If you have two buttons, just button only the first one. Don't button the second one. Okay, that's it about Shetima and his style. Now on the snap view segment. The snap view is a segment of this show which I introduced recently. It features short and quick interviews which I had with individuals and personalities on my social media timelines, where I discuss issues and topics relating to their fields. This particular snap view was with tech specialist Kum Food Manufacturer Roberta Edu who her company manufactures Moped Foods, a brand of natural and organic baby cereal. Here's my conversation with her about the biggest challenge in child nutrition. Until I see you next time. Bye. Creativity lifestyle